How possible is it to upload all Internet Dirt Inside Us project onto our DNA for storage? Since the 20th century, humanity has made incredible technological advancements. One of the biggest challenges we have faced during this process is where and how to store the vast amounts of data and information we produce. Could the solution to this problem have been right in front of us all along? The artificial intelligence industry, which has been on our minds for a long time, continues to make headlines with its significant advancements in recent years, and owes much of its growth to data science. Where and how is the fuel of artificial intelligence, data, being stored today? And how can DNA molecules, which cannot even be seen with the naked eye, make a difference? Most of our data is stored on the devices we use and on the servers of some companies. However, this method is not very practical in the long run. Especially our personal data is stored on disks called hard disk HDD in our computers, and on flash memories in our mobile phones. Data created or used in applications and websites is stored on the servers that the applications and websites are connected to. As thousands or millions of people's data accumulates on servers, it is worth noting that more storage space is needed for data over time. Mega companies like Meta, Google, and others are buying more storage space as a solution to this problem. However, constantly increasing storage space can sometimes cause problems for these companies with large customer bases and they need to build new buildings for more storage space. It wouldn't be wrong to say that Microsoft and Meta are currently the companies most affected by this problem. In 2019, Microsoft detailed the data storage method in DNA and announced its first DNA storage system to be used in an article. Although there has been no signal yet from Meta in this direction, the company is famous for building data collection centers around the world to solve this problem. Imagine all the social media platforms we use. Think about how many tweets, stories, posts, photos, and videos you see every day. Even for the daily content we consume and produce, there is a need for a very large storage space. One of the most interesting ideas proposed to solve the data storage problem is to use DNA molecules. In 2013, Geneticists George M. Church and Nick Goldman started working on DNA data storage by storing one megabyte of data in a DNA strand. This method, which has been further developed in the following years, has revealed another fact that DNA has the potential to store a large amount of data for up to 700,000 or 1 million years. According to scientists' estimations, 215 million GB of data can be stored in one gram of DNA in fact, it would be possible to store all the information and data that humanity has produced so far in a small room with this technology. Now, let's take a look at genetic engineering and consider how this idea can be realized. DNA molecules, consisting of nucleobases named adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, are not easily accessible structures. First, an enzyme is selected. Then, this enzyme is modified in the laboratory, adjusted to target a specific DNA sequence, mixed with other enzymes if necessary, subjected to mutation by various methods, and finally released to the target. In this way, desired modifications are applied to the desired DNA sequence. For this method, a storage area that does not harm the enzyme and an injection tool are also required. For this, thinner syringes than normal syringes and DNA tubes that prevent the substance from being affected and contaminated by the environment are preferred. At every step of the process, the necessary sensitivity and care must be taken with the enzyme, as well as with the parts of DNA to be edited. If we think of the enzymes as data folders and use them accordingly, it will be possible to store data in DNA this method which can contribute greatly not only to data science but also to all kinds of scientific fields, has both advantages and disadvantages. One of the difficulties is that the cost of storing data in DNA is very high. While the cost of storing one gigabyte of data is currently $1,300, the cost of storing one terabyte of data is currently $1.3 million. Scientists aim to overcome this problem over time and reduce the cost of storing one terabyte of data to a small amount like one dollar. Another issue is the possibility of stored data being corrupted by factors such as radiation. 
In the event of a nuclear disaster or a major space event such as a solar storm, it is not yet known whether not only the data stored in DNA, but also the data in our actively used device us, will be safe. Hello friends, I'm Samit Ozalp. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've had a pleasant time and learned something from it. If you enjoyed our videos, you might consider subscribing to our channel. We frequently share videos on different topics and strive to prepare the most interesting and useful content for you. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you can click the subscribe button below the video. To not miss our new videos and watch our most up-to-date content, you can also turn on notifications for our channel. Thank you again, and I hope you'll enjoy our channel.